Hi guys, this is Cody. He is half Havanese and half Bichon, otherwise known as a Havajon, and he is going to get a cute haircut. So let's get busy. I will start by washing Cody in iGroom Prebiotic Shampoo and conditioning him with iGroom Prebiotic Conditioner. baby. <laughs> Working the conditioner through all areas of his coat. Thank you. 
Next, I'll use a good quality ear cleansing solution. This helps to dry up any moisture that might have gotten into the ears, loosens up ear wax, and removes debris. I fill up each ear canal with the ear cleansing solution. Rub the base of the ears and allow the dog to shake his head. Back, back, back. Big boy. Next, we'll wrap them up in a nice warm towel. And go to the drying table. The tools that I plan to use during the blow dry are the Diane comb, the Artero long pen slicker, and the Artero universal slicker, along with a Utsumi fine tooth comb. Use a cotton pad to dry out the ear wash from the ears. I split the cotton pad in half and use one half on each side. I do not pluck ears in my salon. I simply trim the hair from the base of the ear and clean them good with an ear cleansing solution. And as you can see, my clients have very healthy ears. will be using Artero nail clippers and a Maca Art nail grinding tool designed for humans. It is linked below. Boy. We'll repeat this on all four feet, smoothing out the nails. The tools that I'm using for Cody's groom today are a 7F blade on a Schoenbau digital clipper, a 4F blade on a Schoenbau digital clipper. The Artero Spectra clipper, settings number 30 and number 10. A wall figura clipper with a number one snap-on comb, stainless steel by wall. The Paw Brothers brush with the little plastic tips. Artero Fusion Curvy Shears for the feet. Zolita Curve Chunkers and Jaguar Gold Shears. These are seven inch. And Utsumi Super Fine Tooth Comb. 
and Artero Static for our scissoring spray. Cody is wearing the Grimmer's Harness. This is a great option to a neck loop. We're going to start with clipping the pads of his feet with a 30 blade. Exposing his cute little toe beans. I'll repeat this on all four feet. Next, using my Paw Brothers brush, I will brush all the hair down around the feet, pulling some of this hair down through the toes and removing any hair that falls down past the pads, being very careful not to nick the pads as I go. Now with the dog standing square on the table, I'll brush all the hair down around the feet and scissor around the feet. Mist him all over with the Artero Static and brush this through the coat. Using my Utsumi Super Fine Comb, I'm going to comb all the hair up and out making sure that there's no tangles anywhere in the coat. It's very important when you use a snap-on comb to make sure that it's not going to snag anywhere. Good boy. This type of hair is cottony hair and it is best trimmed with it combed up and out. You can use your snap-on comb against the grain or with the grain when clipping this type of hair. I am clipping from about an inch past the end of the skull, right about here, straight down to the tail. skimming down over the hips, rounding down over the rib cage, lift up the ear, trim the hair under the ear, skimming down off the shoulder muscle, blending it into the leg, coming down the front of the dog. Good boy. Now I'm going to comb the hair back up. And go back over that clipper work.
skimming off. Skimming off. On the back end of the dog, I don't want all this hair hanging off the back. So I am taking my snap-on comb. And sweeping down the back of the leg, down towards the hop. Good boy. On the front of the dog, I'm going to use my snap-on comb against the grain and come up to the jawline. On the underside of the dog, I'm going to take my snap-on comb straight up to the armpits. Good boy. Lifting up the ears, about halfway between the eye and the ear. Closer towards the ear, I'm going to sweep down with this snap-on comb from the line of the eye down, meaning right here, down. Repeat this on both sides. Bowing. Using my tin blade, I'm going to trim the corners of the eyes, stretching the skin back across the skull, and then coming in right at the corner of the eye and clipping it out. Good boy. Using a Chris Christensen butter comb number 006. This is a five inch comb, best used on faces. I comb this hair backwards. Using my Fusion Kirby shears, I'm going to come in and trim between the mustache and the eye. Good boy, you're fine. You're fine. And he's got this little cowlick sticking up on top of his nose. I'm going to trim that off. Now taking my Zolita Curve Chunkers, I'm going to comb back this hair on the back of his head and blend it into where it meets the body. Now I'm going to comb it forward and blend it again. Making sure to get anything that might stick out behind the ears. Good boy. I like to keep a bit of this flow on either side of his eyes but we don't want it getting too heavy. So what I'm going to do is just take my chunkers and fade this hair back. Just skimming over it. 
attempting to keep a natural look. Holding his ear forward, I'm going to push some of this top knot hair backwards. Make sure that nothing sticks up here. Good boy. We're going to round out this muzzle. Now I'm going to tilt the head down, comb this hair forward, and see what falls past the nose. Stay. I knew it's terrible. And blend back these pieces that are falling forward. Good boy. It's very good. I use a 7F blade on a Schoenbau digital clipper for trimming the stomach and under the tail. I would not use a regular 7F blade snap-on style for this type of work. The one on the Schoenbau digital clipper is shaped much differently than your regular standard snap-on style 7F blades. I find this blade to be extremely safe for this kind of work and it leaves just a bit more hair than a tin blade, making it far less likely to cause any clipper irritation or discomfort to the dog after the clipping. His owner just arrived for him, so he's quite excited now. I am going to use the static spray to mist over him, combing the hair up. Good boy. And scissoring the legs to blend them into the body. He cannot see his owner. He has not heard his owner, but dogs can even smell when their owners arrive. Even though we're three rooms away, he knows. But I would much rather the pet owners come inside and sit down and wait than waiting in their hot car, for sure. Good boy. I need you to turn this way.
I know, but you can't leave yet. You gotta wait. Uh -uh. Now I'm checking for anything falling off the back of the dog behind the tail. I want the tail to appear to be set on high. So anything that falls past the back of the dog is going to get trimmed off. Stand. Come on, you can do it. Make sure no hair is falling into the eyes. Good boy. Check his ears, make sure they look even. He's got a lot of extra hair up here, so I am going to pick this up between my fingers. Slide my fingers up, take off the excess length, and drop the hair back down. And the hair in between the front legs. Balance everything out. He has some hair growing into his mouth. So I'm going to lift up the lip and trim it up here. Cody's all finished and ready to go home. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.